gunk in my pole from the windstorm. Okay. I've got some of the weeding in the garden done. Cut the tomatoes way back. Those things were ridiculous, out of control. Still need to cut my horseradish back. But, yep. Alright. Let's see how they're doing this morning. After two weeks of, uh, or two weeks ago, I gave them. They're waking up and getting rolling. They were probably going to come pouring out of there on me this morning. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'll just set it over here again. Until I get it opened up. We'll go from there. Okay, I'll pull up the other video. I can see the difference between what was up here last week or two weeks ago and what's up here now. This hive is freaking dig it all. That's just what's who's hanging out on the inside the screen. There's not even anything going on there. Still, I put that one up here and that one up here. Doesn't look like they're doing a whole lot of building out up here yet, but I'm going to take this one off and look at what's going on down below. Alright, not building out as fast as I thought they may be because I put these two new frames in last week. This one and this one and I think all three of these. But, uh, and I can tell without it, I'm not even going to pull them up because I can still see they're, they're pretty empty. So there's no point in yanking that up and seeing. So now what we're going to do is pull this box off and see what the protein or the uh, protein oh shoot tripping over stuff the protein patty looks like
so two weeks ago, two weeks ago, there was a full patty right here. And as you can see, they've chewed that up. So I, I'm gonna keep feeding them, uh, especially since they have, they're not filling up that box right there. So pollen flow might be short right now. I don't know. I've never, I'm still learning on how to judge this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give them some pollen, and uh, and maybe even give them some liquid. Maybe just give them a total blast, cause I'm not worried about production this year. I'm worried about them. And then probably a couple more weeks, I'll pull that out, and we'll take a look at that uh, that drone comb. So I'm gonna go grab a patty. And be right back. See, so I'm just gonna lay another patty in there. <clears throat> then we'll get it all put back together. And then I'll probably end up mixing up. I don't know if I'm going to do liquid or not yet, but let's put this back together. So when I say liquid, what I do is take a, a one to one ratio of sugar and water and I pour in this thing, which I don't have any sugar right now, so I'm going to have to go buy some, so there's no point in pulling my feeder out, but it comes out, it's just as wide as two frames, it comes out and then, let's see if we can, you just pour it down in there. That's all, the, both holes go to the same thing. <clears throat> and this mesh in here just allows them to crawl down in there to drink it without falling in. So, that's all that is. So I may provide them with some of that. I'm gonna, I don't know. I've heard it both ways. But since I'm not worried about honey production, because you don't want to eat honey made from this, because it's not real honey, it's just sugar water. They want honey made from pollen and stuff. But anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. So what I'm going to do is, I don't, I don't think anybody even tried to sting me today. They're pretty docile. It's, uh, I think it's about 6.30 in the morning, so they're pretty calm. It's not really hot yet. At least the sun's not banging on them yet, so. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely out doing their thing. I've got them a little, a little fired up. But anyway, I'm going to put this back together and, uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll check them in one week and see instead, because two weeks they had cleared that patty and paper and everything out of there, so maybe I'll check them next week and just see how much they're going through in one week, because I'll have to do some research, or maybe someone on here knows, maybe that's an indicator that pollen flow is low right now if they're going through a patty that fast. Or it seems fast to me. I'm not sure. So anyway, that's week two of the pollen patty. And they're eating the whole thing up. The bees are still looking good. They're not... I was expecting more in this in the frames that I'd put... The empty frames I'd put down here. 
I was, you know, I was hoping that they would have some up here. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep checking them. I'll probably check them again next week instead of two weeks. Like I said, just to see how that patty's going. So yeah, let's put this thing back together and still got some more weeding to do in the garden. Like I said, I got to thin this horseradish out. Weed. That's some blackberries. I got to do something with them. They're just sitting in pots. You can see this blackberry. I had to pull them. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll be able to show it. So I'm not going to walk all the way over there. We're on the far side of my pool down there. I planted two weeping cherry trees and I used to have the blackberries and stuff down there and I pulled them because I think this mess over here which I've been trying to clear out because as you can see the way the trees are my neighbor doesn't care about uh, taking care of his property and he doesn't care if it encroaches on somebody else's property he just doesn't give a shit uh, sorry but uh, so I think I'm going to run because I've got a sprinkler right there I'm going to run the irrigation line all the way up here and cap it and then do blackberries all along this fence and let them grow back grow back his way so it'll at least I'll have blackberries and it'll hide hide that fence somewhat I guess so anyway let's put this back together